Matthew. I've been meaning to come in to meet with you, but I've been so busy with work lately. You're a lawyer, right? Don't hold that against me, please. Um, I work for the County Legal Defense Fund. Wow. Sounds glamorous. I'm Abby Miller. I play a school teacher uh, to his daughter and to Michelle. Hi. I'm Miss Miller. And um, I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> she had a recent gigantic breakup in her life that kind of sent her back home. What do you want, Scott? It's not my problem. You're the one that ruined our credit. You're the one that ruined our credit. Okay, you know what? You should have thought of that before you screwed your research assistant. I think anybody has times in their life where they feel like everything's coming down on them and, and they're at a loss and, you know, that's what I'm connecting with with her. So I think it's kind of simple because she's kind of put herself in her own little box and she wants to stay there for right now. When you realize in the story that she's lost a brother when she was younger, everything that's going on in the script and the story with kids missing and death and destruction and those kind of things, you realize that she's already been through that. Go ahead, he's dead. He can't see you. Come on, we'll miss the bus. So in a lot of ways, I mean, Abby kind of looks at these little girls as maybe who she was then, mm -hmm. and she was a little older, and then who I've become. So it's a bit cathartic to kind of go through this and find answers that she's never had. She suffered so much. I thought it was our fault when she started acting out. Steven's an interesting guy. Um... Married father, three girls, uh, fading uh, high school jock. Action. Hi, Daddy. How <laughs> keeps smell like sweat. This one's with Mitch Hello. This is Rachel. She's my new best friend. Nice to meet you, Rachel. Will you be staying for dinner? I have to go home. Don't forget to say my name in your purse tonight. Okay. Bye. So how did uh, you and Rich? Cut. Now, the great thing about this role, I thought, was that when you first meet the guy, you, 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 you initially form an impression. I'm here for my daughter. She has a dentist appointment. No, I don't. But it's, it's a limited one. Uh, you think, oh man, this guy's just a complete asshole and... Uh, you actually, I think at some point, you think maybe he's the bad guy in all this. And subsequently, you actually get more information and you realize, holy cow, this guy's just a guy who loves his family and was doing everything he can to just protect them. Forgive my girls their sins and help protect them from themselves. Amen. Amen. Pass the cheese. And I think that's great. Any, anytime you can... Um, uh, you know, when the, when the audience is judging the book by its cover, so to speak, and then they get the real information later and you realize, wow, I've totally misjudged that guy. I think that's good. My character is Bernice Lowe and she's Michelle's mom. Um, she's a bit conflicted uh, with the family that she's been giving, I should say, her daughters. Mom, this is my new best friend, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. It's nice to meet you. That's my sweet angel. Um, you're all dirty. Bernice would, would have liked to have had a normal kind of family that, you know, sat and had dinner together, didn't scream at the table. Um, probably her children would have been more like Rachel. <laughs> but she uh, is very disappointed with her family. She's all about appearance. Bernice is very much inside. She's churning and Probably if she could, she would scream at the top of her lungs. Oh, God. I'll take that. Go play. But she puts together this act that everything's okay. What are those? 
You've never seen a ball before? On the outside, they're pretty ugly. But on the inside, there's a flower just waiting to come out. A daffodil. <laughs> or maybe there are spiders inside just waiting out to crawl in your hand and bite it. Mom, we want candy bars. I actually never really saw myself as a horror director. I enjoy watching horror films. But um, this one I liked because it's not a horror film that has lots of gore and has gratuitous nudity. It was a lot more to it. It was more, it was more supernatural. It was more of a thriller. It was more like the feeling of Sixth Sense and Shining and films like that. And um, so I just kind of ended up doing a horror film as my first film. We had a lot of fun on our set. I have to say it was a great set. I loved all my crew and my cast. And they also had a lot of fun, yes. Mia and Sammy were two of the biggest pranksters. The vet happened, happened because, because he said that if we can name everybody on the set, then the we can, then he's gonna <laughs> shave half of his mustache. They came up with this song that they were always singing. Whenever you finish, you'd say, check the gate before you move on to the next setup. We're checking the gate. We're checking the gate. Checking the gate. The gate is good. The gate is good. Hopefully they'll cut this. Lori, who plays Abby was also quite the little prankster. You can't rattle her, I have tried. They were shooting at night and were on a schedule and we're tired and it's midnight. And then right when I call action, everything goes dead. Uh, that's a cut. And it was it was Lori. Okay, so that's for getting dreaded to jump out of the truck. <laughs> oh Lori, are you serious? And let them play. Wow. <laughs> and she was just getting me back because in the scene where she's putting her groceries in the trunk, we had hit a PA in there. So basically when she opened the trunk, a PA jumped out and, and scared her. So I guess I deserved it. I deserved it. We are mad daddies. Yeah. Yeah. And we are bringing it down. And we are bringing it up. And we are going to sing. This is our thing. ta -da! And folks, that is a picture wrap on Within.